welcome to first lesson I'll click on stairs and generally there are four types of stairs and uh, I'll start with straight stairs uh, I'll drag on top viewport let's click now it's a width and I'll drag click so if you drag uh, many of uh, you can see uh, there is a weird results uh, when you drag uh, stairs or ready-made objects so it takes a previous uh, uh, adjustments in this uh, dragging so I can come down with my length and width also and I'll, I can increase my overall height in this so um, if I click on riser you can increase the number of steps and also you can increase the height and if you click on overall and it, you stable the height and you increase the stairs number of stairs so so these are the very good uh, adjustment we, we can say and of course we can increase the thickness of the stairs like this these are the railing heights but these are not activated if you click on hand raise left and hand rail right um, I'll hand rail height come down these are the hand rails and I'll make uh, the offset of it increase the segments it will make this hand rail round I'll come down with the radius so this is what the railing uh, is and strangers uh, if you on it will uh, get the side uh, strangers over here and that adjustment also we can do from here and offset So this is what uh, basically a uh, straight stairs is and I'll go second that is L type drag this is what a very weird thing uh, it's happening when you drag all those things if you go on modify you will see there are a lot of uh, high figures in this so this is I will come down and offset I will come down I'll increase the length this is now really we can use the stairs and the second this is how it is and then we can use this angle whichever side you want we can make it and this is the offset we can adjust the landing in between landing area and you can uh, use this uh, options like close box so this can be used and same thing if you have handrails and path is there handrail is there of course we will have to go to uh, to handrail to set this this is the handrails now while what I'll do is I'll off this handrails because we have already seen it and rail path I'll make it height come down I'll go and offset this is an offset and why they have given handrail also and rail path also there's a very big difference in this so uh, we can use this path uh, and attach our railing to it I'll go and click uh, AC extended click on the railing drag the railing like this I'll go in modify 
top rail I'll make it round I'm not going in deep of the railing but uh, of course uh, on my uh, there are uh, but the railing we have a very different tutorial for it uh, so railing in 3d max so of course you can refer to that tutorial to if you want to see in, the, in depth I'll go I'll take round here I'll take round and round round and round take pick railing path take pick railing path it's uh, it's not having perfect fit so I increase the segments how much segments you want you can increase and and I'll decrease the height so this is how we can of course adjust our railing to our railing path so this is very useful when um, in open area landscape area in gardens and parks you have um, uh, stairs and uh, many of uh, users uh, uses the box type stairs but uh, what is the major benefit of using a ready-made stairs of course it um, uh, uh, makes a very lot of uh, work very easier but in materials of course we have a very uh, nice option I'll go in material I'll click on standard I'll click on multi sub object let's say keep ok fine now I'll go and I'll take uh, V-Ray or whatever if you want to standard you can click on standard if you want mental ray you can go to mental ray now I click on V-Ray and I'll just drag in this yeah now I'll delete all those things I'll give it color first red and then blue or wallet I'll click on yellow oh, click on white and I'll go on take green now I'll assign this uh, to my stairs if you see uh, this is absolutely uh, given us a differentiate color like if I want a granite uh, stairs uh, or a granite landing over here I can I can use this color that's what uh, I use this technique because I don't know how which uh, uh, material is going to assign if I delete uh, from here I can I can I can reassign and it will uh, again it will go and reassign it and if you go and add it will go and add and from here I can assign my uh, textures to it um, for example this wooden texture I want it now so here this wooden texture will come say UVW map I'll say box now perfectly we can get the texture same thing I can drag say copy the perfectly wooden texture will apply on the the side and I'll go and I'll say reflectivity slight I want the reflectivity for shine and I'll make some finishing on this uh, I'll say white simple white and I'll click here and I'll say SS the whole thing I want an SS so I'll click on V-Ray straight pay and hold on this to white so now this will be a total SS and I'll drag one V-Ray light and I'll render this uh, stairs uh, and see uh, how it uh, looks 
I'll pause my video. I'll show you the render. So this is the render uh, what I got from the adjustments. So I'll just save my render. I'll click and I'll just hide my stairs. Now I'll go and drag spiral chair stair and click this is the most uh, wonderful uh, stairs uh, in 3d max so I'll and the adjustments are same a uh, little bit you can say this is the close one uh, this is the total box um, the difference between so um, again we can assign uh, our railing uh, on this I'll say railing path and railing path outside so we can go down to the railing and say height so this is the railing path where we can uh, give our railing to this stairs and center pole is there as it's just on the center pole this is too big and I'll come down with the radius so this is center pole and radius with segments if you want you can increase or decrease as per requirement again I'll go in material and the same thing I'll assign to the stairs and, and I'll go and add UVW map say box and boom so this is the very uh, good thing uh, if you make one uh, library of uh, material you can reassign it and if you go and add this this is the blue okay we have the extra one and you can add the SS to this one say white reflectivity and I'll total black it out and I'll just take this uh, stairs for a render just slightly make the changes go this looks good and uh, increase my thickness so here it is and uh, yes uh, I can uh, assign the railing also so on AC extended railing track the railing I'll go to modify pick railing path and so uh, this can this can be uh, again we can change it because I want uh, this uh, path should be inside so I'll click on stairs I'll give the offset of uh, railing path I'll just go and top viewport and I'll just scale slightly inwards again I can select this so it will be inside and now I'll render my stair I'll pause my video so this is was the render uh, what I got um, if you enjoyed my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you have any kind of suggestion or if you want any kind of tutorial do let me know 
so i can uh, make that tutorial for you so thanks for watching my tutorial meet you in next tutorial thank you